So what's a rare book and what makes a rare book valuable? I'm gonna show you how to find rare books that are more valuable so you can start trading in rare used books. The rareness of a book is basically just the scarcity. And the way I check scarcity is by checking a website called A Libris. And it gives you the results of everywhere you can find that particular book online. Obviously, the fewer the better. But being rare doesn't necessarily make a book valuable. There are a lot of really rare books out there that have no desirability. Desirability is the number one thing that makes a book more valuable. And if you happen to not have a whole lot of desirability in a particular book, you can help foster that by finding a tie-in and you can use something like current events or anything to help make it more pertinent or relevant for today. So the best example I like to use is The Stand, which is a book by Stephen King. It was published back in 1978 and it's about a plague. Obviously now the relevance of that book has just exploded because of what we've all been through. And so if you happen to have a first edition copy of something like The Stand, it would be worth more now today than it was a few years ago. The example of rare books that are not worth much goes on and on. There's tons of books out there that are extremely scarce or rare that are just not worth much because they don't have the desirability. The same is true with age. If a book happens to be particularly old or rare, it just doesn't mean it's valuable. So here's another thing to consider. A rare book that's desirable in one area might not be desirable in another area. Case in point, local history. In Salida, Colorado, there's a huge desire for rare local history books. But the bad news is they're not desirable many other places. However, if you happen to find a rare book about the history of Salida somewhere far from Salida, it's not gonna be very desirable there. You might be able to get a great deal, scoop it up really cheap, and then bring it here and be able to sell it to people who have a huge desire for that book. And really with the internet and the way that we sell and deal used books now, the possibilities are endless for finding a desirable book somewhere else and taking it to a place where it's more desirable. So if you're out thrifting or hunting for rare books that uh, could be valuable, one place to start looking is what tie-in or what current event or what pertinence do they have with the uh, world today? That's a really great place to start looking and you can find some really good deals on books, especially if people are not aware of how relevant they might be. So really just find that tie-in, find that story, find that rare book and create the story around it to make it more desirable. And I think you'll have a lot of success dealing in rare books. From Salida Books in Salida, Colorado, happy reading and happy book hunting.